Well, hello guys. I haven't made a YouTube video in a little while, so I thought I would make one. So, I've been pretty busy here in the nursery. I'm finishing up this guy. Custom. He's a wear pup. Custom. He has to be rooted yet. And he'll be going home to his mama. Then I'm doing a Christmas show next weekend. And I made making a couple Krampuses. He's the evil Christmas guy. There's that one. And this one. Very cute. And they both have hooved feet and then human hands. Human arms. So pretty cool. And I'm also working on some Grinches. Here's one of them. three and number four yes trying to make a video what's up yeah see they always come in when I'm making a video it's like a rule with them so we got some mail open these are some eyes from D8, DMH Studio, Reborn Emporium on Facebook. I get a lot of my eyes from her. She makes some awesome eyes. Put on her thing the other day because she had just posted a bunch of new eyes. So I was like, ooh, I'm I would open them and share with you guys what we got. See if I can just tape off sometime today. And these babies that I just showed you, all except for the custom, of course, will be available if they don't sell at the show. So these are really pretty. They're like a white iridescent. And they got like glitter in them and they're like blue flecks. They look like snow almost. So I thought those, and they're like, I think they're falling eyes, aren't they? Yeah, see how they follow you? So I think those would be cool, like a Christmas type baby. She had one pair of Grinch eyes. So I snagged, snagged them up. So these are what the other branches will have eyes like these. It'll be different shit, different colors of green in the middle, and then yellow around the outside. Too. They're like the white iridescent around the outside, and then they're like a cat's eye, or they'd be good for a uh, girl wear pup, I thought, which is kind of what I'm going to use them on. One of my Lucians, I think. So if I'm going to get a girl Lucian. These ones are really cool. They're supposed to be like eyes for like a squid or some kind of thing like that. I got them because I'm going to use them. Or, um, the lady wants me to make her an iguana. So, I thought those would be really cool for him. Like iguana eyes. Maybe like a lizard type of eye. Sometimes I forget what I buy. Oh, these are uh, zombie type eyes. Or I thought they'd be cool for Pennywise too. So I always give him yellow eyes. So where's my eye guy? Oh, okay. All these guys. 
desert. In here. You guys should see all my eyes I have. This thing is full. Just bags and bags and bags of eyes. I have an eye obsession. I just got green ones the other day. Oops. Time to put them away. So my other thing I got that I'm really excited about is my first silicone kits. I never made silicone yet, so I bought mini ones to see how I do. I'm not sure where these are from. It says congratulations on your new adoption. You have chosen professional reborn artist Chantel Bag Bagus Bagus. B A G A U S of I R I E Erie Reborn Gallery. It's her card. So um, she makes silicones, silicone kits. So and it took her a little while to get them to me because she was sick. So she sent me a bunch of extra goodies because she felt bad. So we got some. Little panties for them. They're little babies. They're only about nine, ten inches. I got two of them. So we got two little bonnets for them, which these will go home with whoever gets them. One pair of socks. The only thing I didn't get was my matting powder. She was supposed to send a little thing, but she may have forgotten. But she's okay because I already I ordered matting powder. And then she made these little pacifiers for them, which I think I believe she already opened their mouths for me. And then they each get a little dressed as they come with them. And I have some other small outfits that I'll use for them. And then business cards. So, I'll show you guys one of them. They're all wrapped up because they're sticky because they're fresh, remade, and they're not um, painted, of course. And not matted, so they're like on the sticky side. I don't want them to get a bunch of hair and stuff on them before I get around to painting them because I'm gonna wash, I mean, I'm gonna give them a bath before I paint them and everything. There she is. Very cute. Let me cover up her girl parts. She just pulls body. And then she opened her mouth for me. Oh yeah, she has a nice little mouth. It's all like, um, you can see, probably see it on video very well. Sculpted in there. Her ears. I mean, she's not, she's not perfect, but most silicones aren't. But for being my first ones that I'm going to paint, I mean, she has a nice little rope. She does have like the little seam right there. And a little tush. So. But I thought, whoops trouble for that anyways she only charges 150 for the kit and these like I said these are about nine ten inches oh, geez. I'm sorry I keep not covering up for I'm supposed to cover up I've never done one of these kind of videos before um and I don't think it's bad at all her head does go to the side like she's a sleeping baby and she's a sleeper but her little face is so cute like just adorable really well done and um like I said, I'm going to try my hand at silicones. I got two of these little girls. And then if they turn out pretty well, um, of course, I'll be selling them on my page, Mystical Creative Reborns by Audie. Um, I'm going to paint them, and then I don't know about the hair. I haven't decided if I'm going to root them or probably will, so you can't see the little seam on her head. I might just go ahead and root them. But I did the little ones because a lot of people that follow me, are interested in um, getting the silic maybe getting a silicone for like their daughters and stuff, and I know they're not going to want to spend a ton probably on one, and it's a perfect size for a little girl, like a you know 10, 11 year old whatever. I want to suggest for like too young a kid, but anyways. That one. And here's the other one. I haven't even looked at this one yet. And I ordered one of them. Check it out. 
she came. Do need to get some tweezers though, so let me find my tweezers so I can get all the little hairs off before I start. But yeah, I think they're really cute. And I'm probably gonna sell them for about I don't know. I haven't decided on the price because I want to see how they turn out, but I'm thinking probably two fifty probably since I paid one hundred fifty for the kit. Maybe 250 to 300, depending on how well they turn out. Maybe um, 250 for a ball and 300 if somebody wants one root or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try to get at least one done before Christmas. That's my plan at least. But I got so much other stuff to do. I gotta make these guys all up. I'm gonna make a unicorn. One unicorn for Christmas. It's gonna be a. Um, candy cane unicorn. I'm just going to be dressed in a unicorn outfit. She's going to be a small one. 10 inch I think. It's a 10 inch kit. And then um, I want to make a human baby for the show hopefully. But the show is coming up pretty quick so I don't know if I'll get to them or, them or not. I got to finish these Grinches. And then I got to um, those guys over there, the two um, Krampuses, they just need their hair and seal, sealed up and then I just gotta put their hair on and then they'll be done. So they don't have that much to go. They're getting applied hair so it's not that hard to do their hair. Maybe root it, I might root it around the edge a little bit. I'm so mad. I ordered my clay last time and they sent me the clay I use for the snout and stuff. You can probably see. They sent me orange and I'm trying to cover up the stupid orange on it. So mad whenever I, they came, it came because I always order gray, and it, you can see on here the gray is super easy to cover up. Now this is darker right now, but then what I do is I'll put more coats of green on this part, and then that'll match it up to where you it'll be the same shade. So, but that's what's going on here, guys. Um, I haven't done my Christmas drawing yet. Um, I still have to add names. It's been I've been having a hectic time lately to getting things done, but I'm going to do that here in the next few days, hopefully, so that whoever wins, I want them to be able to get their baby hopefully made up and home before Christmas. That is my plan. Whether it happens or not, it's another story. It's not how things happen. Things get hectic and busy, and things don't always work out the way you want them to. So... I'm going to get off here and I'm going to put a couple layers on these Grinches, I think, before I go to bed. It's Friday night and I go to work Saturday and Sunday, so. And then I only have a couple days during the week next week to get these guys finished. They're going to have hair, but I'm going to do applied hair, so that's one good thing. It takes, it takes away from a lot of the time. I'm not rooting them, so. All right, guys. Well, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I did. I had a good time. Went to my mom's. My kids and grandkids were there and stuff. It was a good time. So I'm going to let everybody go so I can do a little bit of painting. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.